All right, an astute viewer noticed when I measured my 20 dB um, attenuator, it was a couple dB off, he thought. Um, it wasn't measuring, it was 20.0. 20, 20 so whoever made this, well, Trilithic made this uh, uh, attenuator, but they were quite accurate in their measurement. They said 20.0, so they had a point, point, you know, tenths of dB accuracy when they measured this thing. And he's saying, well, why didn't you measure that? Why was it so far off? Was it a measurement error? Was it an instrument error and everything? So I wanted to point out that um, spectrum analyzers are not very accurate. They're good for relative measurements and stuff, but they're not really good for accurate measurements. Um, so let's see if we can measure this thing the right way, all right? Um, so if you if you notice it, let me go back, uh, get this thing to focus. If you notice it, it's only measured at two frequencies. It's measured at 30 megahertz and one gigahertz. It's not a graph, so it's only two data points, right? So, so the correct way to do that is then with a, a, a power meter that's very accurate and or a network scalar a network scalar analyzer which is just a power meter that you can sweep over frequency but since this is two data points and I don't have a scalar network analyzer anymore um, uh, we'll do it with with two data points so we'll set up our, our generator so we have our generator set up. So the first data point was 30 megahertz. So we're gonna output 30 megahertz and we're gonna output it on this connector here. And so, uh, so the first thing we're gonna do, it's very hot today. I should turn the air conditioner on, but it'd be too noisy. So first thing we're gonna do is zero the, uh, zero the um, power meter. Now power meters are going to drift with temperature so this is not a good day to be testing. In a cow lab the temperature and humidity are regulated very very stringently so we, we need to be we need to make sure that if we calibrate the the time between calibration and measurement is very short so nothing can drift off of it. So we're going to calibrate very quickly well we're calibrating and then we're going to very quickly measure our uh, minus 10 dBm. I have uh, the uh, generator set up for minus 10 dBm. Okay, so we have the good zero. We're bouncing around between uh, minus 70, minus 80, which is a really, really, really good zero for a for a power meter. Uh, we're going to measure it. We're measuring 10.01. That's awfully good for the. Uh, 8921, so it's outputting a very, very accurate number, but we're going to be better than that. We're going to hit the relative button. So now we're measuring dBRs. So now we say that this is zero. And then uh, very quickly, I'm going to take the, and I, I'm warming it up in my hand, which is not a good thing either. So that's going to throw off the measurement. So I shouldn't be doing that. Um, so I'm going to put this uh, attenuator uh, on in between do this quickly and try not to heat it up and we're measuring 19.92 so is that within tolerance 19.92 so that's a lot that's that's closer to 20.0 uh, than it was okay so I say that's pretty good the other data point that they gave us was uh, one gigahertz so we'll, we'll change our, our generator to one gigahertz and then we will do the same thing. We will remove the attenuator. We will put the source back onto the power meter and we will hit the relative button. Now it's 10.96, so 10.69, so it's a bit off, but we're gonna hit the relative button. So we've made a relative zero, to be ours. And now we're gonna put the uh, attenuator back in series with the generator. And we're measuring 20.05. So that's the way you do an accurate measurement, okay? Um, uh, power meters are very accurate. That's why they're still around. Uh, scalar network analyzers are, like I said, power meters. Uh, so they're very accurate. Um, spectrum analyzers, if you take a look at the specifications for them, I think absolutely they're like plus or minus two and a half dB maybe. 
and then relatively there may be plus or minus a half dB. Um, but then again, you have to be very careful with them. So um, you can make relative measurements with spectrum analyzers and it, if you calibrate very accurately, but they have a lot of non-linearity built into them, whereas the power meters have all of that uh, designed out of them. So anyway, uh, I thought I'd make a quick video to uh, acknowledge my viewers' correctness in how to measure uh, attenuators more correctly and uh, get, get uh, correct numbers.